Hi, welcome to another Behind the Line with me, Chef Danny Davis. Cuisine, collab and cocktails. We'll be talking to some of the hottest shot chefs around. Hi guys, Jeff Danny Davis here. Another episode of Behind the Line with Triton Magazine. Today we're on a mochi up cupcake with Stuart, the whiskey blogger. Nice hey, to Danny. meet you, Stuart. Nice to meet you. So, um, Stuart, tell me, how did you uh, how did you get into whiskey? Oh, I got into whiskey when I was in my early twenties, and uh, I was a young army officer in Ireland, and uh, I was posted up to the very north of Ireland um, near Donegal. All oh, right, yeah, and, I know uh, that place. Yeah, I had a mentor there, and he was a reserve officer. Uh, Kevin was his name, Captain Kevin, and he was a whiskey guy, a real whiskey aficionado. So all of us young guys who passed through the post um, on our tour, um, he taught us all about whiskey and gave us a, an appreciation of how to drink whiskey and um, how to understand how whiskey was made. That's awesome, because so you have the thing that's soldier, sailor, whiskey maker. Yeah, yeah, it kind of ties in because my other passion was sailing. Mm -hmm. So um, I had a really bad accident, uh, which threatened to end my career. Oh, and ended my flying days. So I had to give up flying, so I got into powerboating. Okay. And uh, ended up running kind of uh, record attempts down the River Shannon and around Ireland and doing some other crazy things with powerboats. And then <laughs> that brought like me into fun. sailing. And then I started doing transatlantic sailing. So uh, delivery trips, bringing kind of large yachts back from the Caribbean to Ireland. Okay, yeah. That, that sounds fantastic. So that gives you the kind of link now with the Caribbean, Florida and, and Ireland, yeah? Exactly, yeah. It's a, it's a lovely synergy for me because it kind of wraps up my whole career in one product that we've developed now. And this is the product. So um, this is Port McGee. This is Port McGee, Tell Irish me a whiskey. Bit about it. I Irish whiskey. Yeah, well, um, our tagline is Spirit of the Sea. Um, and Port McGee is a little village on the very, very southwest coast of Ireland, which was famous as the port of Captain McGee, who was a smuggler in the 1700s. Yeah. So tremendous links with Florida and the Caribbean because he was bringing in kind of rum and tobacco and even down in the west coast of France, Spain and Portugal, bringing in wines and cognacs. And then he was exporting whiskey and textiles from Ireland. Fantastic. That's a great story. Yeah. And it's kind of uh, even my name, McNamara, is Mac Connamara, son of the hound of the sea in Irish. So <laughs> all my ancestors were pirates. And my Same two destiny. Yeah. And my two <laughs> colleagues, Murphy, their name means the sim something similar, Muraku means uh, a sea hound or a sea, a sea warrior, sorry. And uh, so really when we went to design the whiskies for Port McGee, we wanted to bring in elements of the sea into it, the maritime history, heritage, culture of Port McGee and that part of Kerry in the southwest of Ireland. And that's how you ended up with a spirit of the sea. Spirit of the sea. Uh, it's Port McGee whiskey, spirit of the sea. That's fantastic. I so want to taste this whiskey. Well, let's have a taste. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Whiskey master Stuart shared the details of how these delicious whiskies were handcrafted in Ireland and the homage they paid to sailors around the globe. My personal favourite was the Port McGee 9. This is a light, approachable whisky with hints of green apples and vanilla. It has a great finish from the Barbados rum barrels that are used in the aging process. I would pair this dish with pan-fried rump of lamb, cold and mashed potatoes, chantilly carrots, tender stem broccoli, red currant and rosemary jus. So I just wanted to talk to everybody and tell you about this event that Stuart and I are going to put on. We're going to do a captain's table VIP event and we're going to match some of the whiskies that Stuart has with some of the food that I cook. It's going to be awesome. We're going to pair all the, um, all the whiskies with the food, right? Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to see kind of what you can create to match the whiskies that we've created. Hopefully it's going to be cool. It will be. For more details, um, find us on social media and look out for um, upcoming events that are going to happen soon. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time for more Sheffy content on Triton News.